Hey guys, it's Logan, and today is media day for a whole screen here at Kentucky Kingdom. And we are here with my sister Amanda, who you may have seen hidden in a few of our videos a couple of years ago. But yeah, we're just really excited to have a great day here. And there's actually like professional skate actors here, like not like park employees, which is really cool. So we're really excited. I don't know a lot about coasters, but I know a bit more about haunted houses, so I'm excited. I've never been to something like this, so we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. All right, we met up with Alec. He's filming for Coaster Studios right now. You all know him. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, we're here at Hallow Scream. Super excited to see what this event has. This is its first time coming back after a while. So I'm excited to see some of the haunts they have. And they have some other things that are really unique. Like right behind us is a Marty Grave. So it's like a little dance party. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Okay, I'm Ed Hart, President and CEO of Kentucky Kingdom. But tonight I'm President and CEO of Kentucky Kingdom Hollow Scream, the Kingdom of Fear. Now, you will think you're here as VIPs and special guests, but the fact remains, I have to apologize, you're here as guinea pigs. We have not yet run the public through the haunted houses, so I'm just hoping the chainsaw maze works properly. I wish you all good luck in there. All kidding aside, thanks for coming tonight. This is the first time we're opening up our hollow scream area of the park to the public. And um, it's been a heck of a partnership between a jewel of a company that's situated right here in Louisville, Kentucky, that produced and directed what you're seeing in the hollow scream area. As you know, we also have our children's area. We have the 5D cinema with the Friday the 13th movies. But this is the hollow scream section of our Halloween weekends, an Oak Island creative, John Hawkins Company, right here in Louisville, 200 employees in various cities throughout the uh, United States, a and no doubt the number one purveyor of fear in the world when it comes to special events, has put this together, and I think you're really going to have a wonderful experience. I'm John Hawkins, as Ed said, CEO, CEO of Oak Island Creative. Um, we're a company that's the creative engine behind large-scale experiential entertainment endeavors really all over the world. Uh, we're headquartered right here in Louisville with offices abroad, and we're excited to be producing something for the folks of the area. We've created an event we hope inspires and instills a bit of Halloween magic in everyone. There's great food, drink, shopping, dancing, characters, some of which are out here, and of course, two haunted attractions designed to give you folks some great scares, okay? Great scares, y'all. So at Oak Island, why do we spend our waking hours often thinking about how to scare people? What's up with that, right? It's really pretty simple. It's because we found that a great startle scare creates a genuine, pure laughter and sense of visceral fun, as really few other things do. It creates incredible memories with families and friends and taps into our hearts, providing a sense of community and universal joy in one of the purest forms I've ever seen. So we wish you guys much joy as you experience Hollow Scream. Yeah. John, thank you very much. Now let me introduce Jesse O'Daniel. Jesse will tell you what we have in store for you tonight, and I really want you to enjoy yourself. I understand the bar is open, but not for you young people. And here's Jesse. That young people reference goes to you, Logan Joyner. <laughs> the, the coaster kid. Um, thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Welcome to Kentucky Kingdom. We are so happy to have you. I want you guys to see a sneak peek to our Predators on the Prowl show produced by Dance Sensation Studios that'll be take place as a family friendly entertainment on the front side of the park.
So know me, I can get a bit crazy Had to get my way yeah. 24 hours a day Cause I'm mad like that Every guy everywhere just gives me bad intentions Like I'm under inspection I always get to 10 Cause I'm good like that She'll only come out at night Lean and hungry tight Nothing's new Seen her here before Watching, waiting Oh, she's sitting with you But her eyes are on the door This is our, uh, this Frank's Monster Burger. Uh, very unique product. Uh, first, it's a rye, dark rye bun that we can use for this. We also made an in house uh, chili mustard sauce that goes on the bottom of that bun. Uh, and we have two beef bags. Uh, it's a Kentucky grown uh, product. Um, also, it's fresh and frozen ground beef. And then we have global smoked. Full pork that's in the middle of those two packets. Very unique, two types of protein going on there. Um, and then it's a little Kentucky bourbon barbecue sauce that's on top of that full pork. And then we stack it very high with the onion rings and make it really. So the people here are saying these are pretty spicy. I'll be the judge of that. The verdict? No? It's taking a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna creep up on you. It creeps on you a little bit. I ate one of these. Meh. It's still good. What do you think? Tasty? Yeah. It just tastes like it's like the same spiciness level of like Takis or something. It's really good. Do you approve? Is it good? Good. All right, we're going through our first haunted house. Let's go. I'm kind of scared, but he's safe. Like Actual scary haunted houses I've been in, and it was a maze for most of it. Hello! Some great jump scares. He's coming for me. I had, I had fun time. Man, how about that clown on it, like walking on his hands and feet? No. You're like, oh no! That was a dog. No, ma'am. <laughs> That was not a person. Fun. It was really good. Very scary. I loved it. All right, we're back here with Jesse. A ton of you guys know her. She's an icon here at Kentucky Kingdom. That's pretty much all I have to say. So tell us about Hollow Scream. Hi, guys. So Hollow Scream is back from the dead here at Kentucky Kingdom. We haven't had this event since the 1990s, which I'm sure none of you know about, but that's okay. We haven't had an October event at Kentucky Kingdom since we've reopened, and we are so proud to be able to showcase the park at night and bring some scary, spooky things into a big chunk of the park. We just did the clown haunted house. And this that was like the second actually scary haunted house I've been in. That's crazy. You know, it's very twisted to think about uh, what happens when a clown dies. Um, but come to Kentucky Kingdom and find out. So for this event, some of the picnic pavilions are now gift shops. And they have some pretty cool merch right here. Like you have the basic costume. It's pretty cool.
Ya misa Eat me so we're here with Zach, who is a coaster enthusiast and a coaster photographer. So tell us about yourself. Uh, my name's Zach. Um, on Instagram, I'm known as a coaster connoisseur. Uh, Kentucky Kingdom is my home park, and uh, I've been loving it so far. Uh, Die Laughing is my favorite uh, Halloween house. So, not Halloween house, but uh, haunted house so far. And uh, it's it's pretty awesome meeting you guys. So uh, yeah, I, my coaster count is 34. So I love the last haunted house, um, but there were some strobe lights that affect me. I'm kind of sensitive to that. And the next one that they're going into has even more. So if you are sensitive to strobe lights and um, you can't be involved with that, I wouldn't recommend. So just letting you know. Just you, sir. All right, let's go. zombie wasteland and i feel like uh, the first one i don't remember what it's called that one was way more terrifying but this one was you know scary not because of the scare actors but like just because of the atmosphere i don't really know what to rate it i guess it's just because everyone was telling me this one was scarier i was just kind of disappointed but it was still really good nonetheless so that concludes media day at Hell Scream at Kentucky Kingdom and this was by far the best Halloween event I've ever been to and no I'm not saying that just to be nice like I'm legit serious like the workers here are just so nice the food is amazing the haunted houses are terrifying mm -hmm. the clowns chasing you were hilarious yeah and a special thanks to the people at Kentucky Kingdom who invited us because it truly was a blast yeah, I loved it. If any of you guys have been to Dent School House, it's at that level. So if you know that, you know that this is going to be a great experience for you guys. 10 out of 10 recommend. And as always, be, be brave, brave and, and ride, ride on. on. All right, let's go home. It's a school night. What are we doing? <laughs>